Hey everybody. So the dish I'll show you today is a dish called Kapsa, which is the national dish from Saudi Arabia. Not all the dishes I've made so far, I would say, have been spectacular, but this is definitely one of them. Love, love, love this dish, and I can't recommend it enough. Hi everybody. I have uh, my good friend Jacob, who we were just reminiscing that wow, we are we are old. We, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. I was telling uh, Jacob that you know. When we were when we knew each other, he used to be my boss. That that uh, there weren't even cell phones. Well, at least for me, there wasn't a cell phone. Yeah, I had my first cell phone way back in the day, and it was a little brick Nokia cell phone. So that's that's how old we are. Yeah. In a sense. Oh God. Although there are old people out there who would think we're like younger, young youngsters, I guess. Youngsters, so. yeah. right? Right. So that's funny. But uh, we are. I'm going to be making a uh, a dish from Saudi Arabia. And I've never had anything from Saudi Arabia, and I don't think um, you have. No, uh, no, 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 not at all. Not, so, not even close. I don't think. But uh, and I was telling Jake when I was trying to sell him to come here. In theory, <laughs> in theory, this dish sounds amazing. Um, so we we're gonna put that theory to a test and see just how well it it, it uh, tastes. And I have a, a pretty rough track record with impression Jacob, <laughs> so. I'm, I'm hoping to... Uh, yeah, suppose I'm his nemesis. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, I'm, I just, I tell the truth. I just speak honestly about my, you know, my palate's tasting the food, I guess. Right. But as Luke put it, I'm, I'm his guinea pig today, so... Yes. I'll give it a shot. Yeah. I mean, so I wish you, Jacob, and you, you generally are just my my guinea pig to, to, yeah. to test my, my creations with, so... Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully um, I will have a positive result this time. I, I have faith in you. I have oh, faith in you, Luke. You wonderful. can do this, all right? Okay. I'm gonna be impressed. I'm this sure. is gonna be the this, this is gonna, gonna be the day. day. Gonna be the day. Like, you Jacob, know, when you over, was, yes. Yes. With those golden raisins and almonds on top. Oh yes. Mm. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. We'll get to cooking. Uh, as always, the recipe will be in the more the description of the video, and I think y'all will enjoy this. All right. Here is a wide shot of all the ingredients we're gonna be using. I'm going to be using some chicken thighs with the skin. Then we're going to use some finely chopped tomatoes, some red onion, shredded carrots. I'm going to use a dried lime. I'm going to use some ground cardamom powder. I'm going to use some ground cloves powder as well. Black pepper, ground, uh, ground cinnamon, some salt, extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna be using some zest from a orange and some almonds, some uh, golden raisins. We're gonna use some, uh, some grated ginger and we're gonna use some tomato paste and some jasmine rice. All right, we're gonna go ahead and soak our jasmine rice for 45 minutes. We're going to need a half a tablespoon of orange zest, so you go ahead and zest your orange. Alright, we're going to need two cups of finely chopped tomatoes. Alright, we just need a half a teaspoon of grated ginger. All right, over a medium heat, we're gonna add in our extra virgin olive oil. And we wanna, once your oil's heated up, then we're gonna add in some of the onions and the grated ginger as well. All right, once your oil has heated up, you're gonna add in your onion and your ginger, and you're gonna brown, brown them both. All right, uh, you, as you can see, the onions have caramelized and they are browned now. So we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken as well. And Jacob uh, off camera was already telling me that already we just begun and it smells incredible. So I just, I just wanted to add that on camera. Right, Jacob? I can't confirm this, yes. Yes, all right. 
So we're gonna do the same. We're gonna brown the chicken. Uh, we're gonna brown the chicken as well. Okay. All right. Now, as you can see, the chicken has browned. So we're gonna add a lot of the ingredients now. So we're gonna add in all your tomato. We're gonna add in the tomato paste. And we're gonna add in also our grated, um, our grated orange zest and our dried lime as well and our herbs as well. We've got our black pepper, our ground cardamom, our cinnamon powder, our clove and our cloves powder, and um, some salt. I'm gonna give that a stir. Oh wow, Jacob! Is that is it is the is the smells hitting you right Dude, now? The smells are amazing. Wow, that is really fragrant. I'm liking the. Wow, that smells great. Yeah, I'm not getting quite the whiff you are, but uh. You're not quite what? I'm not, I'm not getting quite the the whiff of the of the fragrance that you're getting. Ah. Uh. Because you're you're right in front of the pot, so you're getting all of it, man. Man, it smells. It smells incredible. Oh, I'm so excited, man! So good. Here. <laughs> stand in front. Stand in front and see if you get if you smell any. Oh man! Like it, there's all kinds of. There, That's all, really good. There's all kinds of aromas going on right now. Wow! I don't know what to make of it. Oh, it smells good. Yeah. All right, um, what you're gonna be looking for is for the oil to rise to the top. And as you can see here, it has here, so you're gonna add in your water for the next part. Okay, put a lid on it and you're gonna cook this for 25 minutes. All right, and while that is cooking, we're gonna use a pan, add a bit of olive oil to it. And once we have that heated up, we are going to be sauteing our raisins. Okay, once your oil has heated up, you're going to go ahead and add in your raisins. And it shouldn't take long, but um, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be browning, you're going to be browning up your raisins. Okay, as you can see, it have browned, and so what we're going to do is we're going to remove them and put them over a paper towel to drain some of the, the oil. All right, now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the almonds. Just lightly browning them in the oil, same pan as that we used for the raisins. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, they have browned, so we're going to go ahead and like the raisins, remove them and put them on a paper towel. So that way to, to soak up some of that oil. All right, that's been cooking for 25 minutes. So we're gonna remove the chicken and add it to a baking dish because we are gonna broil the chicken next. We're gonna, okay, we're gonna go ahead and add in our chicken and broil it. about uh, five to 10 minutes. All right, now we're gonna add in the carrots and also your rice. I'm gonna cover the top of your pot the clean towel and then cover it. The towel will help keep the rice firm. All right, that has been cooking for 25 minutes, so we are ready to plate this up. All right, here we have it, capsa. It's all plated up and me and Jacob are eagerly awaiting to try it oh, and yeah. see how how good it tastes it smells really good so i'm gonna give it a shot and uh, we'll let you know how it tastes I yes hopefully it's good 
All right, so we are done cooking and you know, ready to to, oh, yeah. to give it a shot. We're both oh, yeah. really hungry. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll see how it is. Um, it smells really good, so I'll give it that. Yeah. So yeah, let's give right, it a shot. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Let's see how the uh, the raisins and the almonds. It seems like a be an interesting combination. Oh, yeah. Actually, the raw, uh, uh, the the raisins is a good mix. Mm. It actually tastes pretty good. Oh wow! Oh, wow. there's a lot of flavor. Man, that's pretty darn good. Huh. I really am liking wow. the, the flavor in the the rice and the chicken. Mm. Okay, so yeah, I'm really liking the rice and the chicken. I'm gonna try. I haven't had any of the almonds or the uh, the raisins yet. I'm gonna try that. The the raisins added to the rice, it actually has a nice little sweet flavor to it. That's mm. really good. The almonds I don't really taste necessarily in there. Mm. Uh, I like the chicken, but. Um, it's, it's a, it's, it's, it tastes a little dry. Mm. That's okay. I think when you mix it, mix it together with the with the rice, you don't, yeah. you don't really. It actually uh, still moistens it up. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, no, I, 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 I no, so yeah. I just tried a spoon, or I just tried some of the 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 raisins and the almonds, and I, and I agree, I don't taste. I don't really taste a whole lot of the almonds. I taste oh. more so the uh, the the raisins. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I like I actually like when you when you take a good size amount of the of the rice and you put like a raisin or two on there, that little extra sweetness actually um, has a nice uh, or adds kind of a nice uh, difference to the profile of the of the dish and stuff like that. So it's kind of it's like a nice um, I don't know it's like the cherry on top. Of yeah, the, of a good dessert in a sense. Yeah. Mm. Well, there we have it, guys. I I really enjoyed this one. If you end up making it. Let me know down in the comments what you think of it as well, and if you've uh, if you had Capsa before, any uh, changes that you think you would make as well. Well, that's it, guys. Take care. Dude, I gotta give you props, man. This yeah. is a good dish. Hey, well, I used to uh, yeah, yeah. I, well, I, I was your nemesis, remember? Yeah. Now, now I'm, I'm switching sides. Oh wow! This is a really tasty dish, man. Yeah, that's what I. I... Mm. In theory, it didn't sound like it, you know, or it sounded like it would be, but, but um, yeah, I'm glad it turned out to be. You know, take it back. The chicken actually isn't dry. It was just the skin on the top. I guess it's from the broil, mm -hmm. whatever it is. But inside, it's moist. It's good. So it's confirmed that you are a liar, Jacob. Mm. It's, it's, obviously, there's no evidence that you turned it off, so it's not confirmed. What if I told you that I didn't turn it off, Jacob? Oh, and that, that is currently recording right now. <laughs> then I was saying that it was it wasn't a lie. It was just a uh, lack of awareness and an error on my part because I didn't get deeper into the chicken before I, I, I made that comment. I forgive you for your transgression. <laughs> uh, for your transgression, Jacob. No, you didn't. Mm -hmm. I'm full of transgressions, man. Mm. Oh man. Mm. I'll tell you what. This, this is a good. Dish. This is. Incredible.